to nullify the railway drone and occupy my spinning morning mind, I slide the candy in my skull and tap my foot to wasted time. Canning town to Waterloo, the jubilee of twenty-two minutes spent with my doors closed to all of those with doors shut to hope. Languid sheets of misty dawn stretch cat-like in between my yawns as I take my place among the city's aimless pawns. Shunting muttered apologies, woman sport mascara streaks, the walk of shame, self-loathing blame, oaths of never again, daily the same, the stains and ashes, toast, eggs, and rashes, printed clashes between what we know to be true and what we're told to. The metro denies, the musicians lies, and furiously states a carefully constructed case and summarizes in outlines. The cause of degradation, backsliding of integration, and a three-line dedication to a man famed for nothing more than being a father, his children confined to three lines to convey the miraculous life stolen from them by the man who is displayed, splayed over the rest of the page, bring to light the horror incite the public to furious, fearful frenzy, all join hands and remain watchful for the enemy. The remainder of the paper goes on similarly, the disillusioned pilot light within me not even simmering my pot of mould. My stop, folded up, adopt my familiar stride. Habit, the habitat I inhabit, protects me routinely from the day I meant to carpe. The stairs elevate me, but the handrail's dirty, like the paper it's covered in semen and feces. With the swish of an oyster the gates release me into the world I've been warned against as long as I wear the right things, wear the right things, wear the right things, wear the right things, wear the right thing, and wear where our rights cling. We have the authority to determine where our sights sink, but we freeze to death after falling on our ass at the media's ice rink.